if you want to present your team members in a way that is interesting and compelling, then you need to add this PowerPoint animation trick to your toolbox. With this animation, you can partially blur other elements on your slide while revealing only one element at a time. In this video, we'll start by importing four photos from PowerPoint. Resize the photos and position them to match the width of the slide. Then we'll apply animations to reveal one photo at a time and blur the previous one. At the end of this video, you'll learn two ways to blur and reveal photos on a slide. Alright, let's animate ourselves into PowerPoint. First, I'm going to move these four images to the blank slide. I got these photos from stock images right here in PowerPoint. Check video description for a link to download. Then I'm going to enable ruler and guides from view tab. I want all four images to fit the width of the slide, so the ruler will help me determine the width and once I get the measurement, I will divide it by four to get the width for each photo. Okay, so I've done the math and the width of my slide is 34 centimeters. Note that the unit of measurement of my PC is in centimeters. Yours could be in inches, pixels or another unit. But the math is the same. Divide the width of the slide by 4. Alright, 34 divided by 4 is 8.5. So I'll select all the images, go to picture format tab and change their width to 8.5. Perfect. Now all the photos have the same width. Okay, now the interesting part begins. Let's spread the photos from the center of the slide and I expect all four images to fit the width of the slide. That's perfect. Your math teacher will be super proud of you. From right, we'll select the first photo. On the picture format tab, click on crop. Then we'll increase the height of the crop bar all the way down to the bottom of the slide. Take note, the photo has white anchor point while crop has black angle point. Now we can resize the photo and position the important part within the crop area. Once that is done, click on crop again to finish. That's the proper way to crop images in PowerPoint. I'm getting new subscribers from every video I post. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate. If you want me to create more videos like this one, then consider subscribing to this channel. You can also like the video and drop me a comment. Okay, back to the tutorial. Now that we have resized the first photo, repeat the same steps for the other three photos. I'll go ahead and do that. I have already designed their names using rectangle shape and text box, so I'll bring them over here. Beautiful. This brings us to the best part. Let's create a rectangle to cover the first photo. From Home or Insert tab, select Shapes and click on Rectangle. Click and drag the rectangle to cover the image. On the Shape Format tab, Select Shape Outline and click on No Outline. In Shape Fill, click on Eyedropper and select a color from the second photo. Let's duplicate the shape. Move it to cover the second photo and change its fill color. I'll repeat the steps for remaining two photos.
Right now, the rectangles hide the photos. To create blur effect, let's reduce the transparency of the rectangle to 10%. Hold down Ctrl key and click on each rectangle to select all of them. Right click on any rectangle and select Format Object. In Shape Format pane, expand Fill option. Go to Transparency and set it to 10%. To reveal and hide each photo, we have to apply animations. Go to Animations tab and click on Animation pane. Let's start with the first rectangle. Select it and click on Animations tab. Then expand to see more animations. On the Exit section, click on Fade. By default, the animation should start on click. Select the first rectangle again. Click on Add Animation. On the Entrance section, choose Fade In. Again, it should start on click by default. I'm going to repeat the same steps for the second and third rectangle. However, I'll set the first animation, that is the fade out for both rectangles, to start with previous. For the fourth rectangle, I'll apply fade animation and set it to start with previous. When viewed on slideshow, this is what it looks like. This looks great! I would like to reveal all the photos after the fourth animation. So let's go ahead and add another exit animations to third, second and first rectangles in that order. Select the third rectangle. Click on Add Animation and select Fade on the Exit section. Make sure it starts on click. Select the second rectangle and apply the same animation. Set it to start with previous and delay it by 25 milliseconds. I'll do same to the first rectangle. Choose start with previous and delay it by 50 milliseconds. Let's see the final results. When it starts, the photos are blurred. Photo 1, Photo 2, notice how Photo 1 is blurred, 3 and 4. Then all the photos are revealed. It looks like I missed the alignment between the third and fourth photos by a tiny margin, but that's okay. Instead of blurring the previous photos, you may decide to keep them visible. Let me show you how you can do that quickly. Let's duplicate the slide and delete all entrance animations, the ones in green. Then the last three exit animations. And finally, let's set all the animations to start on click. Let's run slideshow. What do you think about this design? Let me know in the comment. I'll see you in the next video.